What's up everyone, Sixpenny here, and we have some huge details and a big gameplay trailer that just dropped for PJ Tour 2K23. So I'm gonna be showing you that trailer today and then breaking down everything we have. There's a lot to go through today. We got so much more gameplay details in this trailer. This trailer was so much better than the last one. So stay tuned be ready if you want to stay up to date on all things pj tour 2k23 and also the new ea sports road to the masters game coming sometime next year be sure to click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my content plenty more coming your way leading up to launch of this game and the other ea golf game but also plenty of videos as those game launch but let's go ahead and dive on into this this trailer is awesome very few people have ever laid claim to beating Tiger head to head. Good luck in your rivalry, you're gonna need it. Grown men lose their minds if they get a glimpse of Tiger Woods from 50 yards away. So there you have it, everybody. We got so much from this gameplay trailer. This is the trailer I would have dropped first. This trailer was just so good. It showed so much of, it just showed so much. We got to look at the new skills and archetypes. We got to look at a lot of the pros available, available that you can play as in the game. We got to see a lot of different swing animations, a lot of different cosmetics. This was such an exciting trailer and I'm gonna break it all down for you right now let's go ahead and dive on in and take a look from the beginning here so all first right off the bat we have a new what i would call probably a cutscene in the game the cat tiger woods with his caddy with the caddy and you'll see there's a lot of variety in caddies in this game it doesn't look like you know the real caddies but it looks like they have a lot of different a different caddy for each player in this video and you see woods on the back there uh, one thing i will say from this shot this already looks a lot better than what we saw in the last trailer. Like from the textures of the grass, uh, from the player models, like everything here looks so much better than what we saw in the last trailer. Now I will say the, the fans still look the same. They don't look like they changed much, but like when you pay attention to this, it looks like the textures, fairways and everything have changed a little bit. Does it look next gen? No, but does it look better than what they showed in the last trailer? A hundred percent. So let's go ahead and move on forward with some details and then I'll slow it down. So here we go. We got a cutscene here with Justin Thomas and a caddy as well. Uh, so just actually this caddy, let's take a look back here. So this caddy, blue hat, gray hair. Let's take a look at the next caddy. Red hat, gray hair. It looks pretty, I don't know if this is the same caddy or different, but there we have it, Justin Thomas. A cutscene with the caddy. So it looks like in career mode, we're gonna see more cutscenes with the caddies and with the pros. So there's JT as we move on through. Of course, TPC Scottsdale, one of my favorite golf holes of all time. I mean, just electric. Then we have Lexi. Thompson here. So Lexi Thompson here. Uh, we saw her in the last trailer. So another playable pro in the game. It's so cool that they have PGA and LPGA players in this game. And what you know, if you if you've seen with the swings, pay attention. We're going to be talking about it. 
pay attention to the different swings of the pros. They all have different. It looks like they actually scanned in their swings. But then we have another one of Tiger close up here with the golf bag as well. You can see in Tiger's grip here as well of the on the club. If we can kind of slow down, let me slow slow back here and go back to the grip. The interlocking grip. And he's going up to the tee. And then what you're going to see is the stealth driver. So a new driver in the game. So Taylor made stealth right there. Close look at that. And I will say the swings look really good. And then we have an animation of Tiger walking to the next shot with this caddy. It seems like we're going to have a lot of animations with your caddy. I mean, I, I love that presentation. Needed a big boost in the last game. And we're moving on here to with more pros. So there we have another pro. Colin Morikawa in the game. Love that. So Colin Morikawa. And then we have Justin Thomas, who had already showed, hitting an approach shot here at the Valero Texas Open here. Good shot. And then we have John Rahm. Uh, so John Rahm, I will say, player pros character models actually look really good. I will say a big a change. The player models look so much better in this game versus the last game. If you look at the career mode cutscenes from the last one. Uh, but there we got John Rahm handing a club to his caddy. I'm so excited for those animations. And then we have another confirmed pro, Will Zalatoris here as well. Waving to the fans. Love to see that. And then one of my favorite golfers here, Tony Finau. As a playable character in the game, I love Finau. He's my pick for the Tour Championship this year. Let's see if he can get it done. But there he is, Finau, walking through the fairway with his caddy. You love to see it. And then Lexi Thompson again, uh, getting up to the tee. And then we have Brooke Henderson, and you can see the swing. Like, all the animations of the pros swing look different. Uh, so there we have the good swing. And then Lydia Ko as well. <gasps> Love Lydia Ko. I'm, I'm really excited they added the LPGA golfers. And then it looks like a creative player here. One thing you'll notice, so Pitt, I'll talk about this throughout, but a lot of the swings of the my players, all the my players look the same, but all the pros in the game, their swings look unique. So one thing that I've noticed graphically that looks better in this game, the reflections. Look at the lighting off the water. Uh, even as we zoom up here, it's gonna show here. I think that the rocks look sharper. I think textures look better. I mean, does it look next gen? No. But does it look better than the PGA 2K21? Yes, and just all the fans here ready to go. Uh, but I, I really like that shot there. I think it really shows the reflections here. It really shows how much they improved the lighting. That's a really good shot. And then we zoom in. It's just gonna show different shots of courses. Here we got another, we got a fountain again. You can see the reflections. Look how much better the trees look too. The foliage looks so much better in this game that's another thing that looks better uh so then we zoom in we get the city i think the city looks better in the background it seems like they took all the assets like all the individual assets and tried to make them a little bit improved not to a level of next gen but to a level to where you can really you, you can see it a little crisper it looks a little more detailed um even from the grandstands the buildings in the background so i, I do think they redid the textures uh, uh for each item and look at the foliage. I mean, these trees look so much better than the last game. Let's keep go going on here. And then we have a look. We have a river. A beautiful planting here. And then I don't know what course that is in the game. I can't I can't picture what course that actually is. I know what... And then that's it. More tourneys, it says. So we have the BMW Championship. And then the Genesis Scottish Open. We have the Canadian Open as well. In the game, and you can see a celebration fist bump for the player. Got it. And then we have, I mean, look at these swings. Like, look at the follow through. You know, as we take a look at the, I'm going to take a look at these swings. So, Justin Thomas here. Swing there looks very Justin Thomas like. Follow through looks like Justin Thomas. We have Lexi Thompson going for a putt here. And then Canadian Open. Did I miss another tournament? I don't think I missed another tournament here. BMW Championship. And then RBC, Canadian Open, yep. And then fist bump. And these cutscenes here, we're gonna see this actually a lot. Look at the cutscenes between, it's a handshake looks like at the end of the match. Between both of the caddies, and then we have Will Zolotaurus and the MyPro. But what this makes me think, I don't know. But 
Do you think you have actual pairings in career mode? Imagine how epic that is. As somebody who plays mostly career mode, I love career mode. You know, I play online TGC Tours competitive scene as well, but career mode is what I love in video games, in sport, especially sports games. And if we actually have actual pairings, could you imagine like we get the handshake at the end? Seems like they really worked on the presentation. This is at the John Deere Classic, it looks like from the caddy. And then we have the snake, you're entering the snake pit. And then Harold Varner, let's go. Harold Varner is a playable pro in the game. We saw him in the other trailer and in this trailer. I love Harold Varner. He's another one of my favorites. And it looks like he drains that shot. And this shot of Tiger Woods is just epic. And look at these graphics. So as we take a look, this, this right here, look how many fans are here. But also, that you saw in the last trailer, if you missed it, watch the reveal trailer and you can see the difference. This right here is beautiful. This is what they should have shown in the first one from all the fans. Look at the reflection on the water. This is a beautiful, beautiful shot here of my favorite golf course, TPC Sawgrass, and my favorite golf hole. I mean, this is what the other one should have been. This is beautiful, and this really shows the reflections. Look at the lighting off the water. Look at the trees. This is what really shows that this game is going to look better and does look better in 20, 2021. And then we had that follow through a tiger. I want to go back. I'm going to slow it down actually as well. Let's put playback speed to like 0.75. So we can see Tiger walking up there and then he hits the shot. Look, very Tiger-like swing though. Let's even slow that down even more. Let's even slow that down to like 1.25. And let's watch Tiger swing here. You, they scanned a lot of the pros swing. Every swing of the pros has looked different. Every swing of the my player though has looked the same. Even the follow through, the look of Tiger there, that's sick. And then we flash into more my pros that speed it up a little bit. Uh, so this is where we get the apparel. So more equipment and apparel. We got the Jordan hat, Jordan gear, and then we skipped through the shoe there, but that was a Adidas. So there we have Adidas. Can't really tell what putter that is. If anybody can, can you all tell? We have the Callaway golf ball. You can see the Callaway golf ball there. I'll slowly, and then we have Jordan shoes, and then Skechers hat and shirt, and then Titleist Pro V1 hat. And then we have Callaway hat there on as well. And then I don't know this golf. I, I know 100 Thieves has apparel in the game. I don't know what brand this is. I was thinking maybe it's 100 Thieves. I, I really didn't know. If you all know what that is, let me know. But I, I that's one I can't pick out. This could be the 100 Thieves. And then we have a tailor-made carbon wood driver, a Bridgestone golf ball. Look how good the golf balls and clubs look. Like they look amazing from a texture perspective. So more customization here. We get Tiger Woods doing the swing here. And then, so I'm gonna rewind that so you see this club. So you're gonna see here really quick, a tailor-made Silm driver and a tailor-made golf ball. And then it's gonna switch to a Mizuno golf ball. So they went all out with brands and customizations. I love it. Titleist Pro V1. There we go, and a Titleist driver as well. Love to see that. And then here we go, the big one. The big one, everybody, yes. We get our first look at the skills in the game. So we're gonna talk about this here for a little while. I really, I really thought, I really looked at this and thought it over. You know, this video actually, uh, this trailer leaked yesterday and I was able to see it yesterday. I didn't post on it because I wanted to wait till it was official from 2K. So it is now, but as we take a look at this, this is huge. So we get our first, first look at the skills in the game. One of my, one of, the biggest downside to me of the career mode in PJ 2K21, there was just nothing, no progression. You couldn't make your player better. You could there was no, not a lot of customization. Just kind of played golf and it was very bare bones. But here we have it. Look at this. We actually had, this is showing our locker top left. At the top right, we see our in-game currency here. That looks like G, a G, like maybe a putter animation, but I, probably golfer coins or golf coins. I don't know. But this player is 9,000. We can see their level, level 50, and also handicap at 19.5. So the handicap is returning. But the big thing is the skills here. So you look to the right, we have our base club. We have our driver. It says it flies 270 yards. There's also three components of the club the head, the shaft, and the grip. So it looks like you can change out the head, shaft, and grip of every club to further customize the stats. 
And so we also see to the right here, we have base attributes here. Now these stats, I don't know if these are dictated by each club. I don't know if the clubs are just cosmetic and then you switch each thing like head, shaft, and grip to make them unique or if it's your archetype they talked about archetypes in you know I, I did an all new features video so you can check that out as well i'll be updating that and doing everything we know so far video once we collect more information uh, from the next makers who got to play the game early so we will be taking a look at all that and kind of giving you all the information we know but at this point we don't know is this your base attributes from an archetype is it the club itself but we do know that you can customize the head so they had the head selected over here we can see swing path timing transition what the different colors probably represent uncommon or common uncommon green rare blue epic purple and then orange legendary so you can see how they have different like plus 12 plus 9 but what you also see is that each one has a downside. So like this one specifically that ha they have selected right here, the timing driver head, it's the green one. It has plus five timing, plus three swing path and plus five lie range. But it, I think this is the overall, what I think, what I'm confused about here, because you can see the perk. So say the green timing perk is the one they have selected there. It, sh it only shows plus five timing, but it also shows on that it decreased to power, decreased to shot shaping, increased lie range. And so I'm interested to see what that actually means, but we also get a look at the base attributes. So power, timing, swing path, transition, shaping, and lie range. A new one is lie range. And what I think this probably means, I don't think it makes rough easier, but I, what I think it does, you... you in the P PGA 2K21, you'd have a lie percentage when you're in the rough, like 60 to 79. What I think this does when lie range is higher, it's actually going to narrow that range for you. So say instead of saying 69 to 79, it says like if the, the higher it is, you have like a 75 to 78 range so that you can really narrow down uh, what club you need to hit and how much the rough is going to affect it. I mean, who knows? Maybe it does mean you get a less penalty from the rough and ryan gamer needs i miss the fairway a lot so i need i need all the rough advantages we can get now power is of course what it sounds like timing is the tempo uh, how easy the downswing tempo is to hit swing path is how straight you can pull the stick back and forward what does that mean on the uh three click system we're not quite sure yet uh transition is probably that used to be called distance control but your transition from backswing to downswing and shaping is what you would expect. It's the backspin, loft, uh, draw and fade, and then lie range is new. So you have those base stats, and as you select these different perks, you get boosts or you get penalties in some areas. Now, what we do not know though, what we do not know is how do you get these, right? Well, how do you get these perks? Do you get them after each round in like a loot box format? Uh, do you buy them with the virtual currency up at the top? Can you buy them with real money? Uh, so is there a pay to win aspect? I know that worries people, uh, but for career mode, I love this stuff. The, the last game didn't really have any progression and now we have it. Now, as we go through this, it's gonna zoom in here on the driver head here. I'm going really slow. And they also change, you notice they changed to a different perk there at the left or a different driver head. Look what happened. Their timing went up by nine, but they further dropped power. So what I, what I think this shows is not only does the, um, it shows it so fast, not only does each perk have different elements. So I think what it was showing, the, the blue one here has plus eight timing, but it decreases power by four, decreases swing path by one, helps your transition by five, helps your shot shaping, and helps your lie range. I think they're named based on their primary effect. So as we even zoom in and it changes to the green one here now look how everything changes power is now minus two timing plus five swing plus plus three and then shape minus two line range plus five and then we change to the the purple one here and then power decreases even more so it seems like there's benefits and a, like stat degrading for each they each have their own components they affect multiple stats what i don't know is can you select more than one at the same time uh, it looks like to me, you're looking at this, to me, it looks like, I, I can't tell if they're, look, it says select and it says select, oh, okay, no, that shows us you can't have more than one selected. 
You see this? Look, select, timing. Watch what happens when they switch. They selected the other one. So it looks like you only have one of these one of these applied at a time. But remember, you could have a head, a shaft, and a grip. Uh, so all, and you notice that something else, fit fee. Uh, this concerns me a little bit. How do you earn this in-game currency? Do you buy it with real money? Or do you just earn it in the game? I hope you just earn it in the game because you notice there's a fit fee for everything. Uh, so there's a fit fee uh, to apply these to your, to, to your clubs. So you do have that fit fee. This is $50 for that one, $125 for the... Uh, purple one but again is is there pay to win we don't know yet it's too early to tell uh but now we're gonna move off this screen and i told you there was a lot to break down in this video everybody this is exciting we get another swing and you'll notice that my players have very similar swings but this is what i wanted to show you have my player skills as well so as we take a look at this so here we go from the bottom it looks like we have skills so this is your my player menu now skills archetype info and appearance at the bottom so what i so skills it looks like are activated they're not always applied there it looks like they're activated at certain times once you meet certain criteria within a round uh, so as you we take a look at this there's 42 different skills so seven in each of driver wood hybrid iron wedge putter and you can go from level one all the way up to level three on each of the skills. So think of these as perks. Uh, you know, maybe you could call them superstar X Factor traits on NHL and Madden because they're activated after certain points, but it's not really superstar X Factor traits. I wouldn't call it that. But you can see at the right here, we have remaining points to spend eight, skill points spent so far 42. And you can also respec with the currency again, 500 currency. But look at this, we have Beach Bomb first. Actually, I believe there's even one before the Beach Bomb. I think Survivor, oh, it's so quick. It's so quick, it's hard to get to. There is Survivor. So this is what I'm gonna need. Survivor is normal shots receive a timing boost from the heavy rough, which, which means it's easy to hit your tempo from the heavy rough. But look at level one. Level one is only activated when you score a bogey or worse three times. <laughs> so I have to score three bogeys in a round and then it deactivates if I score a par or better two times. So you can see how they activate in the round. But look at this. If you have level three, score bogey or worse one time. I have multiple bogeys around. Deactivate, score par or better two times in a row. So you could pot if you bogey. And then par, and then birdie par, birdie, birdie par. It's it's done. But that level three activation is is massive, and that's for each club. So driver, wood, hybrid, iron, wedge, putter. Uh, so that is for survivor for heavy rough. And then we also have beach bomb, and I find the beach a lot. It's like honestly, they they chose these for me. <laughs> and you notice there's a calculator one right here. What do you all think that calculator one means? Easier math? I don't know. But Beach Bomb, Splash Shots receive a timing boost from the bunker, so it's easier to hit your tempo in the bunker. But you have to have poor swing timing four times, and then it deactivates if you have good swing timing one time for level one. But look at level three. Poor swing timing three times. I do that a lot. Have perfect timing two times in a row. You get, if you have per perfect timing two times in a row, but say you don't have perfect, say you hit like a slight gray fast or slight slow, that resets it. Uh, so that, that could be a really powerful trait from the from the sand. But what we don't know is can you max out all these? Like, can I get these all to level three? I don't know. Do you only have 42 skill points to spend total? I mean, how much do these cost? Uh, we don't know that information yet. Can you get a fully maxed out level three on everything and then just be just completely just insane? We don't know. I, I doubt it. I really doubt you can be 99 overall, anything like that. There's probably going to be a limit, uh, but there's what we have right now. Those are the skills. You can see a lot of different icons. I don't know what a lot of them mean. This is a dri driver. It, see, it says like a steering wheel, so maybe like accuracy. Uh, there's a lot. It looks. This looks like a teacup. See this? This looks like a teacup to me. Is that a uh, hot tea? I love hot tea and coffee. You all know me. If you don't, that's what I love. But yeah, there's so many. Di I cannot wait to see a deep dive to these. But there you have it. Yes, skills archetypes for your my player. How is this different for pros? Like when you play at the pros, do they have their set archetypes? They probably do. And what you're gonna notice? Pay attention to these icons because when it when we look here later on to more gameplay right here. So we see the course designer here, uh, some alligators. 
a rough sculpting here whoever designed this course uh, was a little rough these this wasn't and then we see the grid lines i know a lot of people thought from seeing the top topographical lines whatever it was whatever it's called they were in it but it looks like grid lines return we can see that here in this shot and then it, this is what i'm talking about top right everybody look it shows their perks that's their not perks but skills this shows their skills you see how they're all grade that means they're not active yet so remember they're not active all the time you have to complete those you have to hit either a bad shot or hit it in the rough enough or whatever the sayings are to activate it so this player has one two three four five six seven now i want there has to be a max right so this player has seven perks but you notice that my player swings they all look the same that's one thing i did notice uh we have a shot uh, let's take a look at this so over the bridge cityscape fan that ball, that ball is going in the water <laughs> that looks like a, one of my dedicated shots everybody look at this they put one of my dedicated shots in the video that ball is going in the water that was a that was a red fast <laughs> and then this this ball might be going in the hole more ways to swing so it's talking probably about the three click swing we don't really get to see that but what we see is a new swing meter here, everybody. So instead of the power meter being at the bottom, it looks like the power meter now is at the at the side here. And I really like that. I think it actually looks really good, that swing meter, to actually go with the club. And then again, we saw this in the last, uh, on the my features video, but we actually see the swing plane information on the right. So what they did, it looks like, and this is Divot Derby, so slots left, top 14, so speed golf. So... Divot Derby plays the default online difficulty. So this is probably the pro, the new pro in the game. And what they did, they brought in the gray area, but they decreased that perfect region. Look how small that perfect region is for swing playing right here. And then also they brought in the miss area for grays uh, for fast and slow, but look how small that perfect area is. But you can probably customize it, you know, with different perks and stuff and use that. But another thing that does look good, look at the shadows. And stuff here the foliage here to the left the player model i think this actually is a really good shot and then that ball uh you're gonna see now this doesn't show three clicks so i did look i did look there is a web a new website article with the feature overview and they talk about the three click swing and this is how it works it says the three click swing requires you to hold and release the a or x button depending on the platform of your choice for power and then tap it twice to line up your swing path and club face angle it's as simple as one two three so we that's our first we don't get to see it in this video this is not really showing it or maybe it is maybe this is the animation for three click but i think this is the power bar but you see this area maybe they were over swinging a bit and that ball the reason i don't think it's three click because look at the look at the feedback to the right here look at the feedback watch this look at that swing that looks like a ryan gamer swing <laughs> This looks like one of my swing planes straight off to the right at the beginning. I can tell you all that was not my swing. <laughs> and then all the balls flying, you know, did showing a lot of divot derby here. Then we see a putt in divot derby. And this, this is huge, everybody. Sudden death. Yes. It looks like they added a playoff hole mechanic. I've wanted in the game for a long time. I don't know whether this is career mode specific or in multiplayer as well, but I hope it's in both. Because imagine a career mode. And you're tied with Tiger Woods going into the final round. And you have a playoff to win the Tour Championship. Could you imagine? Or in a you're in a big multiplayer match and you tie and you get a playoff hole. And it shows in Sudden Death here. It shows your three players walking together. So these are three different my players. And it shows one missing a putt. She gets upset. And the other does a little club tour and gets excited. So you love to see that. That is awesome. And then we have Top Golf. So a look at Top Golf here. Uh, we do get more kind of information on the mode here. Again, the swings of the my players look pretty, pretty similar. Uh, I hope there's customization. So you can see you get 15 points for hitting it in certain areas. So you get points. And I don't know how many different mini, ga mini games of Top Golf they have. And there we have another cutscene. So again, this is probably from career mode. We have Fee now in his caddy. And then Bailey, so probably the my player. Uh, and their caddy. And again, are we going to get some caddy cutscenes? Or maybe is this a career mode playoff? Or maybe you're in actual pairings? Could you imagine being in actual pairings and you actually see the other pro's shots? Or maybe playing head to head against them? And then we have the tro holding the my player holding the trophy, the champion. And then we get a shot at Michael Jordan here at TPC Sawgrass. So he is the pre order bonus for all the additions. 
And let's see. So Michael Jordan packs available as a pre-order bonus for the standard edition through October 13th and will be available for purchase post launch. The Michael Jordan packs included with Deluxe Edition and Tiger Woods Edition. So there you have it. If you don't pre-order it, it looks like you can still buy it as well. So Michael Jordan, of course, has a different swing as well than all the other ones. So they might have scanned Michael Jordan's swing. And what kind of ball is this? Did we see this ball? Uh, we It's hard to see what that ball. And then we got Finau. And more of the pros. It looks like it, what I think that the, all those, what it's showing everybody, I think it's showing emotes. I think you can actually emote. Look at the peace sign, the wave, the fist bump, the celebration. I think they may have more celebrations in this game. And uh, then we have Tiger Woods lining up a putt and it finishes with the Bridgestone ball into the hole. And there you have it, October 14th for the standard, October 11th for the other two editions. I mean, so much information to unpack in this, everybody. Michael Jordan fired up there and he is the pre-order bonus. But one thing I do want to go back and show, I think I missed. Where was the Tiger Woods club twirl? I know I saw it. There it is. I missed it at the beginning. I I know I missed that. I meant to point it out. It's something huge. Look at the club twirl. There it is. They actually put the club twirl in it. I missed it earlier, but I, I remembered it. But there you have it, everybody. Huge details in this video. I mean, yes, yeah, still a lot of questions. Still a lot of questions, some concerns about pay to win elements. You know, can you max out your player to 99? Can you do these things? As I get more information on that, I will let you all know, you know, how much of this is used in online societies. Uh, from, is it just a career mode thing? Is it in all the modes? What do each pros have different stats and archetypes? There's a lot we still have to learn, but some exciting thing nonetheless. When I get information about all that, answering questions, I will make another video and I, I plan to make an everything we know so far video once we find out more. But some exciting times. Let me know what you all think you're most excited for. I know there's gonna be a lot of people upset about the skills and progression. I'm so glad we actually have progression now. That's something I wanted in career mode forever. In all in Golf Club 2019, PGA 2K21, the whole Golf Club series, I wanted progression for your my player. Uh, and now we have it. Uh, some people may hate it. A lot of people are going to love it. Uh, but let me know what you think down below. I do think what's what kind of still, I don't think this showed off next gen. I think it looks better than 2K21, but it's not next gen, right? I think uh, a lot of us were hoping for next gen, but I think we'll get a NBA, maybe an NBA 2K next gen upgrade for PG, like in the same engine and PGA for the future. But thank you for watching this video to the end. Many more videos heading your all's way. Drop a like if you got some enjoyment. Subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the videos. Plenty of more information is going to be dropping for us. So be ready. I appreciate each and every one of you all. In the meantime, you can check out my PGA 2K21 content. A lot of videos on the channel if you want to get back into it, play some new courses, and be ready for launch. I will see you all in the next one. As always, have a fantastic day, everybody.